Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Um, what we are going to be looking at today is a Necromancer's uh, Curse. And I feel like this is an important one because a lot of people um, usually like to use this particular curse. It has some interesting abilities, and uh, it also has some interesting downsides, um, and that is Decrepify. Uh, Decrepify is one of those weird curses that uh, doesn't really have a lot of benefit to being leveled up. I don't know why exactly they decided at some point with the Necromancer that they were going to make all these curses that really didn't have a lot of good reason to beef them up and uh, and there are a lot of curses like this in the necromancer tree life tap for instance doesn't really get a lot of good benefit from being leveled up amplify damage doesn't really get a good a lot of good benefit from being leveled up um you know and so forth and so on and decrepify is one of those that really just doesn't need a lot of points um, there are very few curses that i do recommend actually putting points into like lower resistance if you're going to build lower resistance you probably want more than one point um, attract is also one that can be useful with more than one point just simply because it increases the duration and that's kind of the whole purpose of it is to gather attention and you want it to gather attention for as long as it can uh, but decrepify in particular is one of those weird curses that um, it doesn't have any real benefit with the exception of the duration but the duration is so low that um, it's not really worth sinking the points into it uh, the radius of Decrepify also doesn't increase with points, um, so you're stuck with a very measly uh, 4 radius on the Decrepify. And to give you an idea of what 4 radius looks like, that is 4 radius right there. Absolutely tiny. Now, the beautiful thing about Decrepify, though, is that it does provide you with some very nice effects. Uh, Decrepify is something that you will have to deal with also when you are fighting certain monsters. Uh, like, for instance, Bale in the uh, Throne of Darkness, or whatever it's called, uh, will also cast Decrepify on you on a regular basis. So what does Decrepify do? Well, until recently, you couldn't see what Decrepify did. It just kind of told you uh, vaguely what it did. It didn't actually tell you the exact stats. Well, in 2.4, they actually added it to the tooltip so that you can see what it does say, enemy damage, negative 50%, attack speed, negative 50%, run walk speed, negative 50%. Uh, so basically how this works, um, and I don't know why they decided to put it that particular way, because it's a little bit different than that. Um, but it is essentially the same thing as um, Amplify Damage. So you notice Amplify Damage says damage taken plus 100%, uh, and this one says enemy damage, negative 50%. Um, so what we have here is we have a um, negative 50% enemy damage uh, coming in to you. We also have a plus 50% damage, which is not listed here for some reason. Even though it says it on the tooltip, it says curse is a group of enemies to make them slow, weak, and take amplified damage. It doesn't have the amplified damage listed here. That's very interesting. Um, it should say plus 50% damage to the cursed target but it doesn't uh, but, but basically it's just like amplify damage except it's half the uh the value so it's 50 percent increased to damage which actually functions as a negative resistance uh which means it can break resistances um and you might be wondering what the formula is for that well i actually have it right here i'm pretty sure i have it right here anyway um think. there we go um, so as you can see, Amplify Damage is negative 100% physical resistance uh, at 20% effectiveness, which means it reduces a monster's immunity by 20%. So if a monster was 100% immune to physical damage, you would bring them down to 80%. Uh, Decrepify, on the other hand, is only negative 50, and uh, at a 20% effectiveness is only a 10% reduction, which means a 100% immune physical resistant monster would go down to 90 However, keep in mind that if the monster is 110% physical resistant, uh, you would not break them because they would still be at 100. They have to be at 99 to be broken. Now, when a monster is not immune, you get the full effect. Uh, so if a monster is 90% physical resistant and you curse them with Decrepify or Amplify Damage, you get the full rated value. 
Uh, but it does more than just amplify damage that the monster is taking. It also decreases the damage output that the monster has by 50%. It also it decreases their attack speed and their run walk speed, which is essentially a slows target by ability. So it is essentially the same thing as the clay golem. You notice here the clay golem says slows targets by 69%. So it is a slows target by effect, and it does actually stack with clay golem, holy freeze, and other such items that have slows target by on them. Uh, Decrepify can be extremely effective. Uh, the cap on slows target by, by the way, is 80%. Um, and it does not stack like one right on top of the other. So like you notice that our clay golem is 69%. Uh, 69%. It's not going to just go 69 plus 50. Um, it's going to reduce the uh, the number by 69%. And then it will also reduce the number again by 50%. So let's use a theoretical number of 100 minus 69% is going to, of course, be uh, 100. It's going to, of course, be. Uh, I typed that in wrong. Uh, 31, right? And uh, the cap is, of course, going to be as low as 20, so it can't go any lower than 20. We're going to take 31 and we're going to subtract 50% from 31. And we're going to end up with 15.5, uh, which means that's too low. So with the um, Decrepify and the Clay Golem at the same time, we would hit that 80% cap uh, relatively nicely. Uh, you wouldn't need any other slows target by between the two. However, Decrepify is just an extremely terrible ability as far as duration is concerned. At level 1, with no plus to skills, Decrepify only lasts for 4 seconds. Uh, it's also important to note that in Nightmare and Hell difficulty, the duration of Decrepify goes down. Um, in fact, the, the duration of all curses uh, goes down in, uh, in Nightmare and Hell difficulty. Uh, this is something that uh, basically all monsters have is kind of like a resistance to curse duration. Um, and it uh, it is something that you have to take into account um, as you go to different difficulty settings. Um, like, for instance, we are in hell difficulty setting right now, and it's 24.4 seconds or something like that. Uh, let me go to normal real quick. Um, sometimes it will show you the duration increase, and sometimes it will not. Um, I can't remember... Uh, let's see, Attract is 134.4. I'm fairly certain some of these will show and some of these won't. I don't know why some of them show and some of them don't. It has never made much sense to me. Uh, but Attract was definitely 134. And as you can see, in uh, in Hell difficulty, it is 33.6. So we definitely have a duration decrease on Attract. Um, the duration decrease for Decrepify... Um, it should be there, but for some reason it's not showing. I'm not really sure why uh, some of them will show the de decrease and some of them won't. But uh, written right here on uh, quite a few of the Wikipedia pages, it says duration of freezing and chilling effects and AI affected curses are reduced by three quarters in hell difficulty. Um, three quarters is a rather large reduction. And basically what that means is, is that uh, pretty much all your curses are going to have quite a diminished duration. Uh, the main problem with this with Decrepify is that Decrepify already doesn't really have a very long duration anyway. Um, right now I have a 24.4 seconds on this particular item. And uh, we're going to take off the, uh, the bow off of her real quick so she doesn't kill everything. <laughs> and... Um, 24.4 seconds is probably not how long it's going to last. Uh, we can go ahead and we can test this theory uh, by cursing a bunch of monsters. And if it is, in fact, three quarters, it will most likely not last of 24 seconds. It's probably only going to last about, uh, what is that, three quarters of 24 is probably about like 10 or so. But I could be wrong. Uh, this is the reason why we like to test these things, just to be absolutely sure. And it, 
Oh, there you go. It just went down. So, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 8 1,000, 9 1,000, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. There you go. Well, yep. It looks like Decrypify is not affected by the three quarters curse duration reduction. Um, that would be very interesting because uh, that's why, of course, Attract is showing a reduction down to 33.6 seconds, but Decrepify is not showing a reduction in its curse duration. I wonder why uh, Decrepify is uh, immune to that particular effect, whereas Attract, for instance, is not. Um, I mean, you can take a look at a lot of these and you can actually see that uh, the, the duration does, in fact, go down. If we take a look over on... Um, normal difficulty again we can look at some of these curses which are in a relatively high level right now level 33 so their duration is is ridiculously long and um, you'll see that amplify damage is 110 we have um, amplify damage or iron maiden is 93 life tap is 97 huh it seems like attract is the only one that actually shows the duration increase or decrease 134.4 seconds on attract and dim vision is 75 let's take a look over on hell difficulty that's where the most drastic decrease happens it does also de decrease in nightmare difficulty but it's not quite as much as hell difficulty now oh, definitely a decrease on dim vision and attract and confuse uh, amplify damage did not get decreased it's interesting which ones of these uh, have not decreased. Uh, lower resist did not decrease. Terror definitely did. Uh, <laughs> and which ones actually do. Although uh, we really don't have to talk about that much more. That's, that's enough. Uh, now, Decrepify is utilized on quite a large number of items. And I feel like this is something that we should probably point out. So um, the reason why people love Decrepify is that it can break immunities and slow targets down. There are certain items in the game which will actually give you Decrepify either in the form of charges or a chance to cast or when you kill an enemy. Um, the Executioner's Justice Glorious Axe uh, does have a level 6 Decrepify with a 50% chance to cast uh, when you kill an enemy. Um, I did actually do a review of this item a little while ago if you want to look it up and I wasn't very impressed with the effect uh, because it was on kill instead of on striking. Uh, we also have several items that are, are on striking. The Fetid Sprinkler Holy Water Sprinkler has level 1 to Decrepify with a 5% chance. Uh, due to the relatively low duration of Decrepify of only 4 seconds at level 1, it's not really that great of an uh, option, uh, especially with only a 5% chance. You're probably not going to see it very often, and when it does spawn, it's not going to stick around for very long. Uh, we also have a level 1 uh, on the Wrath Missile Weapon of 30% chance, so it's going to spawn relatively often. Anything above 25% is usually going to, to trigger a lot. Uh, we also have level 1 on the Reaper's Toll Thresher unique item, which is a 33% chance to cast. Again, that is going to proc fairly often all the time. Uh, and then we have a level 15 Decrepify um, on the Lawbringer with a 20% chance to cast. And that, of course, is going to be very nice because level 15 has a rather long duration of 12.4 um, seconds uh, with a... 20% chance to cast, which means Lawbringer is probably going to be proccing it all the time. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what kind of builds could really utilize Decrepify? Um, what kind of Necromancers could utilize Decrepify? Uh, what kind of characters in general would probably want this in their repertoire? Well, the silly thing about Decrepify is that I've always felt like Amplify Damage is superior to it in most ways. Uh, amplify damage, number one, can hit more targets because it is, of course, just simply a much larger radius, especially at higher levels. Um, so if you take a look at uh, Decrepify, Decrepify's radius is absolutely tiny. Uh, whereas when you look at Amplify damage, Amplify damage radius, especially at higher levels, can literally cover the entire screen. Um, so as far as 
the ability to get Amplify Damage on targets and keep it there, um, Amplify Damage definitely wins out. Then we also have the duration. So the duration of Amplify Damage is actually extremely high, um, even at lower levels. Uh, it is a, a duration of 110 seconds when maxed out, which is a really, really long duration. And again, if you compare that to Crep Decrepify's rather low duration, especially at lower levels, like at level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it doesn't even breach 10 seconds. In fact, you have to get it up to level 11 before you even get to 10 seconds on Decrepify. Whereas Amplify Damage very quickly gets to a point where it lasts long enough where you don't really even have to cast it very often. Um, this is a big thing because if you're thinking about Amplify Damage versus Decrepify, Decrepify tends to be less effective because, well, it's just not on the targets like you would want it to be on them. Um, most of the time, it will proc, but it doesn't last long enough to be as useful. It doesn't hit enough targets so that when it does proc it's on multiple targets and even if it did hit multiple targets the chances are it would be gone from them before you turned around to fight them so a lot of the times amplify damage ends up being the superior choice specifically because it just is much easier to get that uh, effect on all those targets and keep it on them Whereas Decrepify, I feel like most of the time you have to pretty much spam it on the targets and you have to keep holding Decrepify on those targets uh, repeatedly. Unless you have maxed out Decrepify like I have with the 24 second duration, but even then, because it only has a very small radius, I'm still going to have to cast it a large number of times to make sure that it's on multiple targets. Um, now, when it comes to using it on items, um, the, it is generally not a very high level Decrepify. With the exception of Lawbringer, which is the only one that had a high level Decrepify, most of them were only level 1, and so the, rate, the duration is going to be extremely small. Um, the Necromancers that tend to use Decrepify are the Necromancers that don't really get a lot of benefit from other curses. Um, poison and Bone Necromancers, or specifically the Bone Necromancers, uh, the Bone Spear, Bone Spirit uh, Necromancers, don't really tend to get a lot of good use out of Amplify Damage because the main source of their damage is magic. Unless they happen to be subbing into Corpse Explosion, which Corpse Explosion does get a very nice bonus from physical damage reduction. Uh, but if they are pretty much strictly a, uh, a bone spear, bone spirit kind of a necromancer, uh, Amplify Damage isn't really the, the thing that they're looking for, and Decrepify tends to be the superior choice because it does slow things down and it does keep the monsters kind of away from them. Uh, but there are, of course, other choices for that. Confuse, Attract, uh, Dim Vision can all be fairly nice in this particular regard, regard as well. Um, what it really comes down to is what does your specific Necromancer need? If you are a raised skeleton Necromancer, Amplify Damage tends to be the best choice just simply because Amplify Damage applies so much extra damage for your minions. Um, if you were a, uh, um, a like Poison and Bone Necromancer, for instance, uh, that uses uh, Poison Nova, Poison Explosion, and Poison Dagger, Lower resistance is going to be your best choice because, of course, it has all of the uh, the negative resistances. And uh, and Decrepify tends to be one of those interesting curses that, uh, that kind of falls to the wayside when you need something better. Amplify damage for those times when physical damage is more important. Lower resistance when times when lower resistance or the, the negative resistance is more important. Um, you know, even uh, things like Attract, Confuse, and Dim Vision can overwrite Decrepify in certain situations. Like, for instance, if you just needed to get the monsters off of you, Confuse can be very handy for that, as well as Attract. Now, the beauty of Attract is that it can be cast with Decrepify, whereas Confuse cannot. So you could potentially have Attract up on one or two monsters and Decrepify up on the rest. Um, it is also important to note that Decrepify can cause... Uh, certain bosses not to teleport. Uh, Bale, in particular, who is a absolutely nasty teleporting monster, um, really mo uh, a terrible teleporting monster, he teleports all over the battlefield. Uh, when you decrepify him, he cannot teleport. Um, and this is a well-known fact along uh, 
most of Diablo. But if you are unaware of this and you happen to be a necromancer, um, I would recommend that you pull out your Decrepify Curse for Bale uh, because it will prevent him from teleporting away and make him a lot easier to kill because, of course, your army won't have to chase him down the entire time. Um, there's really not a lot more to talk about with Decrepify um, except for maybe Weaken's role. So Weaken has recently been buffed to provide a larger negative percentage uh, of damage than Decrepify does. So Decrepify has a negative 50% enemy damage effect, uh, which basically means that if I curse a monster uh, with this effect and he hits me with a physical damage attack of 100, um, he will only deal 50 damage to me before it encounters my defenses. Uh, Weaken, however, has gotten a buff of, uh, I think it was like 1% per level or something. Uh, it used to be 33%, and so as you can see now, it's negative 76%, which does mean that uh, the new Weaken, when, when maxed out, can actually potentially reduce damage even further than Decrepify ever could. Of course, Decrepify also has the slow's target by effect on it, which means the monster is attacking slower, and so I think Decrepify still wins. But it is important to note that Weaken is a much larger radius, and it is also a much longer duration. So in those regards, it could still edge out over Decrepify, just simply because you could hit a larger group of monsters with it than you ever could Decrepify uh, in its wildest dreams. Uh, you would have to spam Decrepify a ton of times to get the same effect that Weaken is giving you uh, with just simply one cast. Uh... I don't really know if there's anything else to talk about with uh, Decrepify. I feel like I've gone over just about everything. But if there's anything that I missed, feel free to, ta to talk about it down in the comments. I would, uh, I'm always happy when you guys put um, you know, uh, your particular viewpoint on things. Or you, know, you, you let me know that I forgot something. Um, you know, I, I actually enjoy that kind of stuff. I'm not the kind of YouTuber who hates people who come in and tell them that they're wrong. In fact... Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I will argue with you. I will look at your evidence. And if I believe that I am wrong, I'll, uh, I'll even put out a correction or something like that. Or, or remove the bit of the video that, uh, that is wrong. And um, a lot of my older stuff, I'm sure that I've said some stuff that's wrong before as well. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. It's already been about 22 minutes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and say my finishing remarks on Decrepify. Uh, Decrepify is a great curse. It is absolutely amazing to have in your repertoire. Um, it is, however, a one, two, three, four point skill, which does mean you need four points to get down to it. A lot of the times, if you can find a wand specifically that has Decrepify on it so that you can save yourself the points of going down to it, most people will not put any additional points into Decrepify. And usually having like plus three Decrepify on a wand, along with your plus to skills, is more than enough. Uh, especially if you find a very nice white base, if you haven't actually taken a look at the white rune word, I'd recommend you go take a look at that. I have a video up on that rune word. Uh, but you can potentially find a very good white base that has Decrepify on it, so then you don't have to spend those one, two, three points into Decrepify. Um, I would say three and not four, because everybody usually puts at least one point into Amplify Damage, as it is the first curse on the tree. Another good one to have on a wand or something like that, like a necromancer head, is lower resist, because lower resist is a much larger uh, uh, endeavor. As you can see, it requires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven points just to reach lower resistance with one point. So having lower resist on a wand is also a good idea. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when I am decrepit. And, uh, and as always... Keep watching.